Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, I will talk about how you can book AWS EC2 instance and how you can use the same. So if you already have an account with AWS, it's good. You can directly log in and you will be getting this services page. In case if you don't have an account with AWS, then you can just navigate to aws.amazon.com. You can see if you don't have account, you can create a free account. You just need to fill certain details, which is like your um, basic information, address information and credit or debit card information and you will be able to manage your account. So don't worry about the billing part. I will show you how this uh, you can maintain the billing part. OK, so we are going to use basically free tire services. So that is free for one year or I will say it is free if you go for 750 hours per month, which I will show you now, but still keep uh, keep an eye on the billing section so that in case if you're using this instances for for the usage you should not cross the free limit so let's do one thing um, first of all click on all the services so these are the different services provided by aws as you can see these are the compute services container services storage database developer tools and so on right now we are going to use compute service which is one of the services ec2 so ec2 stands for elastic compute cloud so let's click on this EC2 and now you can reserve any EC2 instance. Definitely they have a different pricing here. So before we move to the pricing part, um, I already have few systems reserved, but they are in the stopped stage right now. So in case if you're starting from the scratch, you will not be getting any instances right now. I have few instances here. So for the time being, just ignore them. I will show you how you can create instance from the scratch. So as of now, you can see I'm using the below resources. OK, so I right now have four instances, four volumes, basically few key value pairs two elastic IPs and so on. For you, it might be completely zero if you are starting from the scratch. And if you see, this is the like previous uh, dashboard, I will say like the one which you're seeing right now is the latest dashboard or I will say the new UI. So you can see this is the previous UI or I will say the old UI. So in a few videos, you might see this kind of UI. So the one which we're using is the latest UI because this is what we will be using for the next few months. OK, so let's quickly launch an instance. So you can quickly launch instance using this button or you can go from here also. Let's click on launch instance. Launch instance. OK, so you will be navigated to this page where you can select which image you want. Do you want Linux? Do you want Windows? Do you want Mac? OK, as you can see, we have some free tires available as well. So on the left hand side, you can just select this option, which is free tire only. So you can see now we have different options available. So you can go for Windows, you can go for Linux, you can go with Amazon Linux 2 AMI. So it depends on the usage, you can select the respective image and you can continue. So don't worry right now, since we have selected free tire, so now if you put mouse over, okay, let me, in this example, I'm going to select Windows Server 2019 base. And if you don't want all, all these different options, you can simply search for Windows so that you will only get the Windows options. Okay, so right now in this video, we are going to go with Windows, but um, in future, we will also use some Linux images and we will connect our different services with Linux images as well. Okay. So right now we have different options for windows i will go with the latest one which is microsoft windows server 2019 base click on this select okay now it will simply um, will ask you the instance type so we are going to go with free tire eligible now if you put mouse over it says micro instances are eligible for the aws free usage tire now the main important part you will get up to 750 hours so make sure you do not cross this the moment you cross this limit okay you need to pay some additional amount so i will recommend once you're done with your work you can stop this instances so that you should not get additional charged so let's click on configure instance details you will be navigating to this page right now i'm not changing any details i will click on add storage next section is storage as you can see you are getting 30 gb and for free trials or i will say free tire eligible customer will only get 30 gbs so click on next, which is adding the tags. I don't want to add any tags as of now. So I will click on the security groups. OK, so right now, if you see, we have only one security group, which is this one right now by default. 
and you can see the type is RDP protocol so do not change the default one as of now but later on if you want to change you can add a rule and you can allow any incoming and outgoing traffic as of now I will click on review and launch so this is the final details like which will give you all the instance details security groups and so on so as of now click on launch now this is very important section guys okay so you can select existing key pair right now I'm going to create a new key pair and I will give this name as Windows 2021 and I will click on download key pair okay as you can see file has been downloaded and very important part that you have to download the private key file which is this PEM file and you have to store it so that you can access later on because you will not be able to download once it is created so now I will click on launch instance okay it will take few seconds and your instance will be up and running so if you want you can see the view launch log or wait for few seconds and click on view instances okay so you can see I have multiple instances these are my previous instances the one which we created right now is in the pending stage it will take few seconds and then you will see it will be in a starting stage and you can see it's running now so right now uh, we don't have any name let me give a name here just put mouse over I will give this name as Windows 2021 system actually the image that we have used is Windows Server 2019 but this is just for my reference that I am reserving this system in 2021 okay and I will click on save so this instance is already running now I have to connect to this instance right so these are the details which is like for this particular instance we have the public IP address private IP address public DNS private DNS so we will be using them for connecting to our instance so select this particular checkbox the one which we created just now click on connect and click on RDP client this is for Windows guys okay for Linux we will see but for the time being for Windows now you can use this like public DNS or IP address then you can use username and this password so if you click on this password either you can go with download this uh, remote desktop file or you can click on get password the moment you click on get password it will simply ask you key value pair okay that we have downloaded so click on browse and we will use the one that we have downloaded just now so I will click on downloads and this is the file that we have downloaded right windows 2021.pem file select this file okay so right now uh, it's already filled after selecting that particular file now click on decrypt password and you will get this password so now I will be using these three details to connect to our instance that we have created right now so just search for remote desktop so as you can see now we have remote desktop connection so click on this now it will ask you these details so either you can enter public IP address or you can use this public DNS so I will quickly use this public DNS I will copy and I will enter here click on connect then I will be entering this username and this password so I will click on administration which is username and since not is taking this particular username so I will click on more choices and I will click on use a different account I will enter the username here and let's copy the password from here and enter the password click on remember me if you want otherwise you can click on ok and you can see now it will connect to that instance that we have booked right away so this is one option you can select that don't ask me this again and click on yes and within few seconds you will see uh, your EC2 instance and yes you can see it will take few seconds it will just do some basic configurations and here you go as you can see your new instance is ready you can start using it okay and click on yes so now 
whatever ins installation or whatever configuration you want to make it here you can make it so in the upcoming sessions we will be using this instance for for the tutorials like if i have to do the master slave configurations or if i have to build a ci cd pipeline i can use any instances that we will be booking through aws okay so just a very important point so let's say you have stopped this instance and tomorrow again you want to connect so this public dns will change okay so i will show you let me copy this this username and this password also so suppose if i want to log in tomorrow will i be able to use it so now if you notice this will change okay so let me quickly restart this instance so i will go back to the instances and this is the one which we created right away i will right click on this and you can see i have an options to stop the instance click on stop so as you can see guys now this has stopped it took few seconds now if i again click on this particular instance so you can see these things will change now right now we don't have public ip address public dns so if i start again let's click on start instance so now click on the instance and you can see it's already running now so you can you can use this public ip address and public dns okay why it shows still in pending okay let's wait or maybe i will go back here yes so you can see this is public ip and public dns again if i copy and go back you can see it has been changed now right early it was something 18 to 19 81 155 now it has changed so one option is like you can reserve one elastic ip address that will be same for your instance or every time when you restart just get these details and then you log into your instance and you can continue so please keep this point in mind and once you are done with your work please try to stop this okay because if you have only one instance it's okay you will not cross this limit but if you have multiple instances running in your aws account then definitely you might cross the free tier limit that's all for this video guys i hope you have learned something new and if you are new to this channel and if you have learned something new from this tutorial please support this channel subscribe this channel share with your friends and if you find any other issue let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next videos have a nice day bye bye